fat bear. Oh my god, the Gina he's bear. so chunky. Hey everybody, welcome to the Burn Bears Podcast. It's episode two. I, of course, am Travis Clyburn, joined by my lovely wife, Katie Clyburn. Say hi, Katie. That is me. Hello. It's been a minute since our last one. We've been chilling. We've been working. We've yep, been doing yep. a lot of different stuff. We had family in town. That was nice. It's nice yes. to uh, host family for once. You know what oh, I mean? and like genuinely host, like yeah. in a real ged r- guest room with a, mm-hmm. with a bed a ged frame. A you say. A ged room. Yeah. I was excited about the bed frame and my <laughs> bed and my, and my brain. Help, what is happening? Why are none of the <laughs> words? falling apart, but it'll be okay. I, I, one of the reasons, and we'll talk about it in a second, we yeah. adopted two kittens, and they will not allow Katie to suck. <laughs> At all, no. They're like, mother, allow me mother, into your mouth. Let me suckle on you, mother. Uh, that was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, Why that did was I say that? Horrible. I'm so sorry. All but right. yeah, they snuggle. They just, they. it's my neck. Yeah, they want to sleep on your face, which and, I, we love. But, and because they're kittens and love salt, anytime yeah. I'm sleeping and a single tear develops, a minute, minute tear, they're like, don't worry, I've got this. Yeah, they're, like the, they're eyeball lickers. They're v- aggressively so. Yeah, but we'll, we'll talk about them more in a second. I wanted to give a shout out because we had family in, like we said. Mm-hmm. We actually live in a house instead of an apartment now. Mm-hmm. Which Isn't nice? Balling. What? What? We rent it. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be too impressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our landlords suck. <laughs> uh, well, it's more of a company. We've never met the person. Actually, yeah, there is place. no human entity involved. It's just a conglomerate. Yeah. But it's nice. We got a, we got a guest room that mm-hmm. they could stay in mm-hmm. and stuff. And guess what they did, guys? Guess what they did? You'll never believe it. We, I talk a lot of shit about boomers, but they sent us in the mail. A thank you card. A real ass thank you yeah. card. And now this says from Teresa and Ron, Ron being my father, a.k.a. Papa Bear. But I know Teresa, his wife, did this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know this was all Teresa. I see the handwriting. <laughs> yeah, not like, even. Nah, my dad didn't touch this at all. Yeah, you it's not I mean? even because sometimes, like, my mom would be Trixie and she would write the whole thing and then yeah. she would love Annie and then she would make my dad write Ann Tony. So yeah, it's no, like, my he dad wrote, didn't nope. even. My dad probably didn't even know. Maybe. No, he didn't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We no, love no you, Teresa. To my dad. Yeah, we love you, Teresa. We really appreciate the note. It really made us happy. Yeah, it and, made um, us feel like grown-ups that like get, made you guys have a good yeah. time. Thank you for uh, making my dad, you know, better. <laughs> you <laughs> thank know? you for being an exceptional part of this family. Exactly. We love you so much. Yeah, we Genuinely. appreciate you. We love you. And... Uh, you know, not all boomers are bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you got less lead poisoning than the rest. Of them. He, did he drink out of the hose <laughs> less than the rest of them? I don't. You know what? I don't think the hose matters that much. It was in the taps, dude. That's true. And oh, and, and he grew air. up. And he grew air. up. And you're with with your uh, grandpa's nice ass well water. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, we figured it out. <laughs> I, dude, I don't know. Uh, the reason <laughs> we make fun of boomers uh, having lead poisoning is because you guys used to have leaded gasoline. And if you build up enough lead in your brain, it makes you, uh, well, let's just say aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes you want to fight yeah. a lot. And I know it's also just age, but when you go, we go to Sam's Club instead of Costco. Yeah. We go, we shop for groceries at Sam's Club, buying everything in pallets mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. feed my girth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there's just, a, if you go on the weekend, there's just a look in the eyes of the uh, boomers there. As they ram their carts into you and give not a single fuck about, I don't know, lanes or how they should function. Listen, they have to shop, Travis. Oh, man. Do you know this? You t- you were telling me this, and I think it's amazing. What? Is this sweet old grandma stereotype, Gen Alpha doesn't know what that is. Oh, yeah. Gen Alpha. Like, Which is 14 and younger. Yeah, way. 14 and younger. Uh, a teacher uh, was talking to her whole class and being like, I'm going to be a sweet little grandma for Halloween. And they were like, uh, so are you going to like hit people with your cane? Are you going to do this? Are you going to like saying all these really mean things? And she's like, no, I'm going to like bake cookies and read stories. And all the kids were like, grandmas don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, you know, we had, you know, greatest generation, uh, yeah. quote unquote, silent generation grandparents. Dude, we just got boomer grandparents now. Yeah. They're like, I'm still hip. I'm still cool. <laughs> I'm still cool. I gotta go out. <laughs> Which, Teresa and Ron, you guys are still hip and cool. Just FYI. No, I, my greatest FYI. memory of, uh, <coughs> of, of this trip when they were there 
is you telling me when you got back that like you and Ron went somewhere and you came back and both me and Teresa were just, and just oh, yeah. knocked out and you're we like got sleepy wives. Dude. Yep, we married some sleepy wives. Yeah, me and my dad are both nocturnal. Yes. Yes, Very you guys so. are late night boys. I just can't help it. Like eventually my circadian rhythm will fall into me staying up until like four in the morning. Mm -hmm. No matter what I do. Mm -hmm. No matter what I do. You have been on an early morning kick since you've been since you've been working out and like Yeah. I don't know how that's happened. But yeah, I've been waking up at like eight in the morning. Yeah, I'm used to having like Well the at cats least... haven't helped. No, the cats have ruined no, all of our kittens have ruined our sleep schedule. Yeah, they come in and just immediately attack like we have sliding glass doors and you know those little like yeah, Kearney. the vertical, uh, vertical vinyl blinds or whatever those are called. <laughs> Battle, every fucking mortal morning, combat though. in those blinds every day. I love it. But we have been working out. How are your legs feeling? Are they okay? I cannot walk <laughs> at all. I have to get up and down using my triceps. <laughs> so, uh, so me, so uh, this is at March to what was it? August? Yeah, March two, yeah. right before my birthday. Yeah. In August, yeah, we did. Uh, no, right, yeah, right before Ryan's birthday, so August third, I think was the end of it. I can't remember, but mm -hmm. we did a hundred day challenge. Me, my dad, and my brother to lose weight. Mm -hmm. um, I lost seventy five pounds. Yeah, me. Applause! 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 About, I put on about twenty more, but now I'm on another hundred day challenge with my dad. We're calling it Fart Force Three. Fart stands for Fat Action Reduction team yeah because it because you guys were excited because ryan was like should we be far team and you're like no it's an or, yeah. atm it machine fart, yeah it was fart team three yeah but now it's fart force three. Oh, fart force yeah, okay fart force three so Which you're a team better. force yeah we're a team yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> Duh. fat action reduction team force correct yeah hell yeah hell we're yeah. another Metal hundred day bro. challenge yeah so I'm, uh, you know, down 75. Uh, I know it's hard to tell because I'm still a very fat. I, I look, can tell. I know you can tell. I hope I hope people uh, at home can tell. If you just watched some of our early videos, it's, woo, we got up there, boys. We got, we got comfy. We got up there. We got you know comfy. I mean? Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of, um, I don't know. It, there's a lot to it. It's it's one of those things. So I, uh, when I was uh, 21, I was like 300 and. 70 pounds, mm -hmm. and then I lost like 150 pounds for the people at home who don't know. And then, like, I kept it off for years, and then pandemic hit, and then just a bunch of other shit happened. And yeah, I just slowly but surely ballooned back up. And also, being 30, the last yeah, it's harder. in the 30s, the last yeah. four years, that's well, that, just gonna happen. Well, then I have hormone issues too. Like, I got yeah, test, a whole pituitary thing, and blah blah blah, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I got. My hormones fixed finally, which if any guys out there, if they're having trouble with weight or anything like that, or just feeling like shit. Yeah. I know it's pretty, it's become popular, but I've been dealing with it longer than most people. Before it was just divorced dads on way too much testosterone. Yeah, trying to be 20 again. Getting tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> be like, I want to look just like Joe Rogan. Getting on way too much testosterone. I'm gonna make a, get my test to two thousand, <laughs> and you're dude. like, no, no, no. Dude, th those guys are gonna lower the average age of death because these dudes are in, the, in their fifties and sixties, who are they're taking grams of testosterone, yeah, and their hearts are just exploding. They're just gonna fucking yeah, they're gonna have a stroke. They're gonna stroke out. Yeah, you can't. It thickens the blood. <laughs> You can't do that. <laughs> I knew of a 35-year-old bodybuilder back in Ohio uh -huh. who was on so much shit, he would have to do transfusions to fucking uh, make sure his blood wasn't so thick. Oh, my God. And he didn't look that good. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, he was all cut yeah, and stuff. No. no, he did. He was small. He talked about, like, I'm so fucking big now. It's like, bro, where'd you start? Because you don't look good. At... The, something that uh, famous bodybuilders will always say, or big bodybuilders, they will always say that the saddest thing that some people will realize is they don't have the genetics, period. Yeah. So, like, even if they take all the fucking gear, all the tests, lift as much as possible. Eat all the protein Some in the people world. just don't fucking have it. Yeah. And, you know, this guy didn't have it. <laughs> you know guy. what he does have? Thick blood. The thickest. <laughs> some blood like soup. Soupy blood. Soupy blood. But yeah, I'm down. I'm excited. Um, I'm yeah, I'm that... really proud of you. Honestly, genuinely. Thank you. I'm proud of you because Katie has gotten inspired, and she wasn't. She she started to work out, 
How long has it been since you worked out last? <laughs> I spent one week doing five minutes on a incumbent bike or recumbent bike. What know. is that guy? The bike. We, Let's just say stationary bike. And our cheap ass Craigslist bike that we got. Hell yeah. yeah it's actually pretty nice for us. No, it's <laughs> really good. It fell off a truck somewhere. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, five minutes a day of that for a week, mm -hmm. where every day for five minutes, I. Which isn't eat. much, but Katie's coming from. Like, Katie, you'd think, oh, this is a woman. Who's very uh, thin and thin. attractive. Must thin must mean health, right? Wrong! Wrong. Katie Society has failed you in that belief. Yeah. Um, yeah, no one would believe that I work out a thousand times more than my yeah. wife. <laughs> Travis works out four times a week, and I have a I purely sedentary a lifestyle, and don't drink water. Yeah. Sometimes so. six. So. Yep. Suck yeah. It. But yeah, I need to not have my bones disintegrate. As yeah, a man. woman in my mid thirties, now is the time when the bones start turning to powder. Um, <laughs> yeah, got osteoporosis. <laughs> so I need to, and especially as one who does not drink water, I need to. I need to yeah, start. No. I need to I've start fixing I, this. I need to. <clears throat> I've tried everything to get this woman to drink water. It is a fucking nightmare. I love you. Our most, the only thing about you would change. Our most <laughs> recent tactic. Was to buy me a fun children's sippy cup in the shape of a dinosaur. It wasn't a sippy cup. It had a straw. The straw was the dinosaur's tail. And he would surprise me with dino time. And here's the thing. It fucking worked. I was stoked. <laughs> yeah. But also, every time I drank out of that dinosaur, it tasted it lovely plastic, a yeah. lot like plastic. And I'm like, this is gonna this is gonna break the blood brain barrier if I keep drinking. Yeah, out I was of this. a little worried that, you know. It was. It's made out of that vacuum sealed plastic of those like figurines that you get at the zoo. You know what I'm talking about? That's so specific. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's the most artistically specific thing. No, fuck off. No, no it's not. what are you talking it's about? It's just a descriptor. I'm a descriptive human being. <laughs> you are very descriptive. No, that, yeah, I know, but it's description versus spe it's too much specificity. <laughs> Which zoo? What zoo things? Okay, that you know. Okay, it's not necessarily at zoos. <laughs> zoos. Are That's just... what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> those, those <laughs> plus. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm, not, I'm not gonna look at you. I'll look over here. <laughs> I know. I'm embarrassed now. I need my blinders. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's at. They have them at different like museums and zoos and shit. Where you like pay your five dollars and it makes like a plastic vacuum form thing of wherever you're oh, at. Someone out there is screaming, knowing exactly what the fuck. Yeah, you're about. yeah, you know you me. Your you're eyes. my person. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I didn't go to enough zoos or museums. Definitely didn't go to enough museums. And uh, it'll, uh, where I'm from in Ohio, we have the Air Force Museum. Mm -hmm. You go there and you salute weapons of death. Yeah. Fuck yeah. America. It is America. a dope ass museum. I'm not making fun of it, but it's fucking cool. It's so big. It's so big. It's There's amazing. so much there. Oh, it's really cool. There's so, so much. Yeah. If you ever have the misfortune of finding yourself in Dayton, Ohio, um, go to the Air Force Museum. It would make the trip almost worth it. Yes, definitely. Definitely, um, definitely. But other than working out and kittens, uh, what did you get into? Like, didn't you, uh, you went to a thing. You had a good time, right? Yes, I went to the Sorry Poppy tour. Sorry Poppy. Sorry Poppy tour out here in uh, when they came out here in Vegas. And it's basically just all-girl dance party, dude. It yeah. was a good time. It's a rave where you won't uh, get touched. Mm -hmm. Where you won't get touched by uh, no dudes. Uh, you might ladies, get grabbed though. on by some ladies. Did you get any ladies, any hot lady action? Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> but I had a young child find me in the bathroom and go, are you a rave mom? And at the time I was drunk enough to be excited and say, yes, absolutely. And then her and I were friends for the next like hour and a half. Uh, yeah. And then I woke up in the morning and I was like, the fuck you mean rave mom? <laughs> to be Wait. fair, you said child. This was a 21 year old girl. Yes. Correct? Yes. Yes. And we are 34. Yes. If she, and I, I, I reminded you of this, if, yeah. if, if when we were her age, you would have had a child, mm. they would be almost 14 years old. I hate that. I 13, hate when 13, you do 13 math. 13 years old, yeah. I don't like it when you do math like that. I, I think, don't I like that's it. that's correct, yeah. The, right? wor the worst one was, I was like, no, I can't be rave mom, because I have a very specific memory of a woman in my life 
when I was 24. Yeah, you were Trashy Raver? Who yeah. was, and she was very much Rave Mom. And I was like, no, because Rave Mom, my Rave Mom was 36. <laughs> 36. 36. <laughs> uh, two years, Katie. Two years. Two yeah. short years. And I was like, yeah, I am, I am Rave Mom. I am Rave Mom. Do not fight it. Be the Rave Mom. Bring yeah. the Pepsid. You know what it is? Like older people, like I think we look pretty damn good for our age. At least we don't look, uh, we either look our age or, or younger. Yeah, I want to say younger. just because we don't look young doesn't mean we look bad. Uh, yes. Yeah, That's no, how I yeah, feel yeah, in my heart. Sure. <laughs> uh, but I guess my, Clinging to it. But the youth, they always know. They can sniff you out. They can dude. see something on your face. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if they're a little older than us or our same age, they usually think we're younger. But. Yeah, like, tw like twenty one, like kids in high school are like, "What are you like 40? And I'm like, "Fuck you, Eat shit, man, <laughs> you little shit." Oh my god, I there was I saw a video online of a kid talking to is is someone who's fifty, and he was like, "What's it like? What was it like to be a slave?" And it's like, oh. how? <laughs> I think that kid was being an asshole. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> To to have the intention. I mean, to, be, to be fair, though, when you're that young, when you're young, sometimes you have no frame or reference of time. Yeah, true, true. I mean, Aubrey you know. asked me what it was like in the seventies. Yeah, she, and could, I'm, she uh, could be a dick. <laughs> and I'm like, no, but I mean, here's kids the thing: can be though they they just you here's know they the don't thing. know. Aubrey wasn't doing that. I don't think Aubrey was trying to be a dick though. I think she just did math backwards real quick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair. It, especially in my brain, it is weird that the seventies was sixty four years ago. Yeah, the seventies, like crazy. in our those memes where like the seventies will always sorry, be thirty 50, years 50? ago. Oh no, I don't know how to math. It was a long fucking time ago. Yeah, fifty, fifty. Yeah, you know? yeah, because my dad was born in the sixties and he's uh, okay. just now turned sixty. So. Yeah, fifty. Sorry, sorry to. Have uh, anyone? Uh, any, we had to briefly do math. Anyone born in the seventies screaming and like, I ain't fucking sixty. Yeah, you know just I mean? throwing really tomatoes sorry. at the screen. We deserve I'm really, it. I'm really sorry for what I just did. Yeah, our bad. We just did <coughs> to them what the kids did to us. Yeah, I mean it's just a vicious side. Like I'm, I'm actually one, I'm one of those people that uh, I believe in Gen Z. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I mean they're weird. Yeah. But also, but let them be weird. Hell yeah! It's just frame of reference because, like, I don't feel like millennials were weird. I was a millennial. We were for sure weird. Oh my god! Yeah, boomers I, fucking hated us to the point where they still call Gen Z millennials because how much they hated us. Yep, yep. They the really hate, hated us. The hate permeated <laughs> through generations. Yeah, these goddamn millennials like yeah. <laughs> it echoed through 10, 20 years yeah. of time. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's a millennial. So yeah, we were weird too. We were little assholes. You know? Oh yeah, dude, you said uh, you said at the time I didn't think we were weird, and then I immediately had a vicious memory vicious. of me dressing for a party, wearing black sequin short shorts, oh. like my butt partially hanging out. Nice white tank top, suspenders, hat, mm -hmm. cowboy boots. I was complimented on my outfit repeatedly. Uh, to just like what a slutty Misty. I I don't I don't I don't know. Misty it's, from Pokemon. I see. I imagine if Misty was a slutty mime, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was I like, know. "You look great," and and I wasn't. Maybe I was being made fun of. I don't think I was being made fun of. It seemed um, genuine from women. Genuine from I mean, fair. Yeah. You know what I mean? You are from Miami, Florida, though. Yeah. We got a style there. We got a style there. I mean, you got hoes there. Yeah, true. <laughs> the quality of your outfit is I mean, the amount got... of, is the square footage of butt that yeah. is out and about. They're probably just shocked that you're, uh, you have as much butt as you do with being as small as you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm frequently shocked by it. Mm -hmm. It's nice. You're welcome. Thank you. Which is why I've been doing squats to grow it even bigger. <laughs> the biggest butt. Yeah, Katie. Katie's been lifting now. I think we skipped past that, but I'm really proud of her for lifting. Yeah, it broke. We have to go circle back around it, to it. Uh, I cannot walk. My legs is broke. Yeah. I am sitting like this, and I I won't move them. I won't get up. You will not see me get up from this chair. Uh, no. it would no, no. Just gonna do it again tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Yep. Gotta do it again. Yeah. 
You got to work through the sore- soreness, guys. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, we got a voicemail for anybody listening. It's uh, uh, we we're not really doing. I mean, if you guys want to ask for advice, go ahead. But we're not going to turn this into an advice podcast. We just wanted to chit chat. Yeah, we did the we did the Reddit we did the Reddit thing last time and like trying to talk to people and give advice. And afterwards, I was like, I felt like I don't like it. I don't like doing it. Yeah, I just want to hang out. I just want to talk to people. That's more fun. Who am I Fair. to be giving advice? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, not a dumbass. You know how many people are out there giving advice freely? Yeah, valid. There's life coaches out there that have no business existing. <laughs> Carrie Bradshaw's column was an advice column. I think about that often. I don't know who that is. Uh, Sex in the City. Oh, that's right. That was her job, right? Yeah, that was her advice column, telling people uh, her all her good ideas and how to live like that. That's how out of touch Hollywood is with what jobs are. Yeah. One article a week made like $300,000 a year. What did the other ladies do? In 2002. Um, Irrelevant. I bet they didn't have jobs. They had a lot of really cool boyfriends. That's what was important. (laughs) That's what we all came for. And a couple girlfriends, which was always a big deal. I didn't know they got gay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's Samantha got gay first time around, and then Miranda got gay uh, in the reboot. In the reboot, reboot. Mm-hmm. Nice. What were you mean a sequel? Would it be a sequel? No, the reboot. New people? Uh, no, same people. Uh, not with Samantha though. Samantha refused to come back I mean, because drama. I don't know why. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I don't. I didn't watch Sex in the City enough to know to care about all that. It was just always. It was always on in my house. Like, it was HGTV, Sex in the City, Friends, Turner mm. Classic Movies. That'd be your dad. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Shout out Papa Bear. Hi, Papa Bear. <laughs> Miss you. Papa I Bear love too. you. Other Papa Bear? Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the... Did you did you know, and I'm sure you know, mm-hmm. that there was a glitch where you could get free money from Chase Bank? No, you couldn't. Yeah, it's true. No, you can. All you gotta do, Katie. No, nope. I don't know if you know this. Mm-mm. You just put, you just write a check for any amount of money you want. No, nope. Travis. Then you put it in the ATM, Mm-mm. and it's just in your account. Travis, no, like magic. Travis, that's. And then you take out that money. You just take all that money out in cash. That's a crime, Travis. Do you know what no. crime that is? And then you have free money, Travis. I call it the crime of fucking getting that bag. No, Travis, that is check fraud. That is check fraud. Check what? Check fraud. Check Anyone what? who did that. <laughs> yeah. Did check fraud. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. If you <laughs> if you did that, if you're listening to this and you thought that there was a money glitch from Chase and you are now. Like it's a video you know, game? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Because what they were doing is it's basically like chase bank has been fucking people over for a really long time on their overdraft fees and stuff like that and they do and to me it's kind of schemy because they're just like you can have all your check right now and then if the check bounces then you're in the fucking hole yeah and then they charge you an overdraft fee which chase is fucking evil with that shit yeah i know every bank is but chase is pretty diabolical yeah so they have features like that to screw people over inevitably so they can get overdraft fees but people were thinking oh man it's a glitch they front they, they front you the money without the check having to clear first. Yeah. And people are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> What's crazy is how much in misinformation I'm seeing on like TikTok about it. They were like, millions of people did this glitch. No, no. the fuck they did. No. There's no way millions of people. No, no, there were there were lines of people at certain branches in certain yes. places. Yes. So I thousands could see, of like, thousands, thousands of people definitely yeah, did this. Definitely. Made the mistake of a lifetime. And like that, that. You know what, though? I would believe millions of people did it. Really? Dude. Millions? We, we, we have been trying to, we've been talking about this a lot lately in our household. Because we've had to accept certain things. At least 50% of people are fucking stupid. I mean, like, irredeemably dumb. I don't, I don't. And that's, like- not, that's not a political issue thing, by the way. And everywhere. And I'm talking, and there's a lot of, like, 75% of people aren't that smart. 25% of people, well, you're lifting everybody else up. Just carrying it along. And then, like, 1% 
of people are actually smart enough to make anything. Are the to people help who society. discover things? Yeah, it moves society forward. The rest of us are chilling and eating berries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what'd you make? Nom, yum, yum. Aquifer? Damn. Yeah. That's cool. That's pretty man. cool. Does that mean my waters could be clean forever? Nice. <laughs> I did nothing for that. Okay. I didn't do shit. I will enjoy it though. Eating mm-hmm. berries. Um, but yeah, you know, you I, I, started saying that, and I'm like, no, that's not. That's a mean way to think about the world and society. And the more you talked, I was like, fuck, okay, maybe that's a little valid. Yeah, most people are like, but that's, it's also fine to be fucking stupid. It's just, I feel like in modern times. Amen, brother. Being. <laughs> 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 it, like, it, but stupid people used to just ha- get a job that, that would actually pay well. Yeah. And then they would live a normal life and not bother great life. And now they can just go be an HVAC technician and they, now they're a small business owner. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now they're like, they make more, and they, they have employees and people just have to deal with these crazy people that run this company. You know what I mean? Yeah, managers. Just yeah. think of any manager who's made 17 meetings for no reason. Yeah. Oh, man. I get it now. No, you're right. You're but right. But also they've, just, they've been emboldened by figures online. Polit- certain politicians, stuff like that, they've been emboldened to thinking they're smart because they s- these other people are like, yeah, you got a voice, hell yeah. yeah. Social media definitely has made stupid people come out of their shell. Oh, it's true. It's yeah. true. Social media has made the dumb strong. Yeah. Very oh, much man. So. And just, Very much so. And it's skyrocketed con men, man. Oh, dude, especially we were talking about working out and stuff like that. Health and fitness is so fucking filled with con men. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know who Gary Brecca is. I do not know who Gary Brecca is. Google Gary Brecca if you don't know who he is. Okay, who is he? Gary Brecca is basically just an insurance salesman. Okay. That's it. But he somehow gets these celebrities to come. And Uh like basically all he's doing is putting people on a low-carb diet and making them work out every day. Uh Uh-huh. But then he makes them do all this other insane shit like... Like, there's some science behind cold dips, but it's not that fucking big a deal. It's not what, like, Joe Rogan and everyone else yeah, keeps saying Yeah, yeah, it it's is. not going to reinvigorate yes. your nervous system but and he'll, channel he'll make, your... Yes, yeah, line your warrior sh- dick genes. chakras and yeah. shit. No, it's fucking... It's not that big of a fucking deal. Yeah. If anything, it just raises your adrenaline up a little bit, and you give a little more pep in your step in the morning. Yeah. So he's making them do low-carb, intermittent fasting, and he's working out. Anyone who does that will lose a shitload of weight. Yeah. And their health will improve. But then he's making them do, like, lay in red light tanning beds. He has this mat he sells for hundreds of dollars. Oh, this is the man. Yes. That I bitch about all the time. Yes, you've told me. It's he's just, your he's your Gwyneth Paltrow. He's your goop. The, yeah, this is this is goop for men. Goop he is for, for men. sure goop yeah, for men. I remember that. I yeah. remember goop for men. He has this, like, it's like a mat you can buy for hundreds of fucking dollars. It might even be thousands of fucking dollars. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to, he says, uh, it's, it's, it uh, uses electromagnetism to ground you uh, even more than uh, that repl- it replicates standing on Earth and its Earth's electromagnetism. I'm like, and pray tell, Gary, what the fuck does magnetism do to me? Yeah, what is that? How I'm not a pigeon, so I don't need it. <laughs> what would mag? If that was the case, I should just cover myself in fucking magnets. So my what? My blood would flow better. He gives. He's like it revitalizes. Anyone who uses revitalizing enough is so fucking full of shit. Oh, dude. Uh, apologies to minorly go off topic, but also on topic. You're gonna watch in the. You're gonna watch in the video. You're going to watch me flash... You're going to watch me have a childhood flashback. <laughs> well, your mom was... Uh, yeah, my mom yeah. very much was into that hoodoo woo like, natural, like, I laser light therapy, that uh, acupressure, acupuncture, like, all that, all that stuff. And Bullshit. as you were saying that, I have a distinct memory of a magnet, <clears throat> um, some magnet thing... Yep. That clacked very went over the head and clacked very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, okay, so there is a, there's electro there's electrostimulation. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, which actually is like people do that for depression allegedly, and it yes. helps or something yes. like that. Yes. 
where um, it's like it's it's some significantly lower voltage so that it doesn't actually But that makes your face twitch and stuff like that. Yeah, what exactly. did this magnet thing do? Was it just was it just like it, magnet's it, the helmet? magnets turned on on the on opposite sides and it would like clack. Clack. What I don't know. Was I don't it know. supposed to do? Um that I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, don't let people put magnets on you guys. Yeah, don't let people put. Don't don't, don't let, let people, people do, do weird stuff. stuff to your body. Because your mom. Do you want to talk about this? Your mom was a midwife. I mean, allegedly not, not according to the midwifery board of Florida. She <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> not according to the. Not according to the Florida prosecution, she wasn't. <laughs> do you want to tell the Do you want to tell the story? Yeah, sure. Um, it's amazing, by the way. Yeah, I just my mom, when I was younger, decided she would like to be a midwife. She tried several times to pass the board. Eventually, told us she passed the board. Yeah. She opened a business, became a practicing midwife. Mm-hmm. And then right before I went to college, she was arrested for practicing without a license. And then I was like, what? But and then mom, I flittered off to college. Felon. Yeah. <laughs> My mother is a registered felon for practicing midwifery without a license. Um, and just doing it's the way she thought it was okay was that she had a friend who did pass the board and they went to acupuncture school together. So my mom's friend was like, yeah, don't worry. Annie's just doing acupuncture on these pregnant ladies. But my mom wasn't just doing acupuncture. Oh, she your she mom, was doing full on midwifery. There's no way your mom wasn't doing everything. Yeah. Yeah. Katie's mom has a level of narcissism. I think I've only seen in uh, maybe Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe anything. Yeah. She's like a lady. She's like a Cuban Hannibal Lecter. Stop it! <laughs> I'm sorry. She is. She's a terrifying woman. Yeah, one day we will write a horror movie about when we went to uh, West Virginia. Yeah, that's a story for another day. I do want to write a comedy a comedy horror movie about that because it was ho Dude. both hilarious and horrifying. <laughs> yeah, your mom, yeah, your mom just gave me nightmares for sure. Yeah, yeah Jesus, bad vibes. Scary. Bad vibes, bad vibes, Oof. bad vibes all around, bad vibes all around. Not a good time. Well, Katie's mom's a fella. That's a good time. Uh, oh, here, I want to pull up an article real fast. Okay. I found this, and it piqued my fat man interest. Show me. Tell me things. Check this out, dude. Okay, this says, E number found in Doritos can turn skin invisible, scientists find. The fuck is an E number? So an E number, so the European Union... Like we have the FD, you know, Food and Drug Administration, mm -hmm. FDA, and stuff like that, and they mm -hmm. assign things numbers like red dye four, yeah, blah blah blah, yeah, red and forty. E number is a is a European Union assigned number to certain chemicals. Oh, it's a okay. It's chemical food additive specifically. So in so uh, this is basically saying a chemical food, uh, a, a chemical that goes in your food found in Doritos. Can turn skin invisible, scientists find. And this is amazing. They said rubbing an E-number found in the orange food dye used in Doritos, the tortilla snack, can turn the skin invisible, scientists have found. A chemical called tartrazine, also known as, see this is where it's FDC, FDNC yellow number five, uh, and is the E-number E102, was mixed with water and rubbed on a shaved stomach and scalp of lab mice Moments later, the skin was transparent. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Wait, why? 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 Uh, are you asking why they did this? Because science. No, I know, but what? Uh, who thought? How did this get started? Dude, this is what I believe science is, and not I'm a huge fan of science. I love science. I'm a science man. Uh huh. But I do think that <laughs> there is a lab somewhere. Where they take every chemical known to man and they just touch mice with it, <laughs> <laughs> and then one day some guy had tar some guy they, they they finally got to the T's because they go in alphabetical order because that's scientific. Just... They got to tartrazine, and they were like, "All right, we're gonna give it an hour." And they were like, "Holy shit!" Fucking <laughs> mouse's the time the mouse's stomach was see through. See, I that's one I love I love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Another way it could have happened. Yeah. Scientist, a graduate student. Oh, eating Doritos. Eating Doritos yeah. 
all 10 <laughs> yeah. years of his college. Yeah. And at the end one day, he's like, yeah. I can see my bones. <laughs> Why can I see my bones? <laughs> I think, it, I mean, I almost said I don't think you could eat enough, but I was like, no, nah, there's some people that eat. That ha no, college I kids still especially. think, I will not speak of him by name in case he is embarrassed about it, but... 12 bowls of Cheerios a day, every day in oh London. I remember you. N six pack the whole, damn near eight pack the whole time. Those people suck, man. How did he do it? There, and he never, threw, he never threw the boxes away. There was a pyramid of them in the corner of their room. And all the other roommates were like, Cheerio pyramid, Cheerio pyramid. Yeah. Like everyone was proud of him. This was not like an embarrassing, shameful thing. Like everyone would have been upset had he thrown the boxes away before the semester was done. Right. No, that makes, yeah. We needed to know how much he was going to. I feel to. like that's all of London's Cheerios. He, he must have, the Sansbury's yeah. down the road must yeah. have changed their ordering. <laughs> he caused an economic distress <laughs> in, that, in that part of London, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, um, fuck. Okay, I'll, I'll, let me, so... Experiments revealed that the skin's appearance changed a few minutes after the orange solution was rubbed in the blood vessels and the organs could be seen a centimeter below the surface. Oh, my God. Rubbed in the blood vessels? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Solution was rubbed in and blood vessels and organs. Oh, Basically. I thought it said rubbed no, in rubbed. No, 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 the no. blood no, no, vessels. Is, by the way, I don't know whose job it is. In the, uh, I, it's got to be an intern's job to shave the mice. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way there's no way people have been doing science have On, doctorates yeah and they're uh, just, they're just like, like, uh, like Jeff just shave the fucking mice please actually you know what no knowing how scientists are treated that's exactly what they would do you have a you've been going to school for 12 years you're a master of this field of study shave these mice shave these dirty mice shave. for the next six hours that's your job <laughs> that's exactly how the world treats incredible people like that. I mean yeah you're yeah <laughs> Uh, it says a groundbreaking discovery is the first time scientists have managed to remove the opacity of skin by modifying the refractive index, the amount of light bent as it passes through something or skin. Yeah, I won't get. Uh, I won't probably read too much of this stuff. Oh, I, uh, uh, yeah, it's safe for living organisms. In addition, it's very expensive and effective. So what they're thinking essentially is, you know, they can use this stuff to see potentially. Uh, if you've got internal bleeding or internal damage. Yeah. That's yeah. wild, dude. They can take could, Dori yellow Dorito shit, which is crazy. Well, dude, there there is this electronic device that uh, doctors can use to see the veins very clearly in your arm. But oh. there are parts of the world, there's not a lot of electricity. There's not. If there was a liquid solution... That yeah. did something similar, and so you rubbed it on, waited an hour, and you could see, like yeah. all the like that would be great. Be pretty cool. There are so many uses for this. That's magical. That's great. That's cool. Yep. Science is magic. Science, Science is magic. Love that shit. I love that shit. Oh, I wanted. To, I wanted to move on to the next one too. Um, I don't know if anybody saw, but it says the uh, U.S. U.S. says Russia-funded media company that paid right-wing influencers for mil uh, millions for videos. Yeah, you have been obsessed with this story. You can't. Yeah, you just I love keep it. screaming about this story. I can't listen. I've never liked Tim Pool. I'll say it now, and I'll say it forever. Tim Pool is a beanie-wearing fuck. <laughs> yep. 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 And oh, you know what? I didn't understand. It, this all makes so much sense because, like, out of nowhere, kind of the the far right started. Posting a lot about how much they love Russia. How cool Russia was. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, like fucking Tucker Carlson went over there. To, like, With that tour. grocery store thing that he did, that was, yeah. He did more than, dude, he did a long, he went to Moscow and basically was like, this should be what America is. This is amazing. Yeah, went a whole, yeah. yeah. It was really weird. Bad vibes. Really weird. Especially considering the Republican Party historically, uh, especially since they claim to be, you know, America first. Yeah. I was like, why are they polishing the knobs of Russia so hard? Yeah. Boom. Tenant media, baby. Yep. That is why. Paying. Dude, Tim Pool was getting paid. And I know he makes a bunch of other money, too. 
But these motherfuckers were paying him $100,000 a week. That is insane. I can't imagine receiving that much money. Yeah. But here's what I think people out there need to think about, and whatever your political views are. Why is it that Russia wants to spread far-right ideology in America? Yeah. What would it benefit them? Yeah, how Re would they benefit from yeah. us doing that? Because I know the answer. Do you? Do you? Think about it. Just think about For a What second. about it? <laughs> what about it does would make Russians happy? You know what I mean? Especially Russian oligarchs. How would it make America worse and make Russia better? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So that's just all I'm going to say about that. All right. Just think about <laughs> it. Just let that sink in, you know? That's like my, uh, when I was when I was younger, I would try and fight the conspiracy theories in my house with more conspiracy. Yeah. By the way, this is going to be, most episodes we'll be talking about Katie's mom a lot. Yes. Because she's a pervasive figure. I just, it's, but, but it she, just you got to explain to them me. how fucking crazy conspiratorial your mom was. Like, you, you knew about, like, Pizzagate before... Oh yeah, I I'd ever like, when you were a child. Right? Yeah, yeah, I when Clinton was running, my mom was telling people do not vote for him. Him and his wife are the heads of a cabal and they uh <laughs> invest in a pizza. Like when oh, I was like like yeah, pizza, when man. I was like 10, yeah. Where was your 100%. mom getting this information from though? Um I don't know. I was too I'm I was too young to have I mean, ever but she has literally always been there's always been talk radio playing, AM radio specifically. There's mm. always been like news. There's yeah, always Rush, been. Rush Limbaugh melted a lot of brains. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that. I've heard Rush like Limbaugh that kind was of talking. Frequ I frequently heard that motherfucker growing up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That kind of talking voice the whole time. Um, but the whole like anti-vaccine <laughs> conspiracy. I stole this from online, so this is in no way an original thought, but I started battling their anti-vaccine conspiracy with, uh, well, you, what you don't understand is China is spreading that information so that oh, yeah. the American population yeah. is weaker uh, immunally so that blah, 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 I blah, mean, blah. Yeah. And it feels I icky even joking about it now to try and, yeah. like, fight fire with fire. Well, that's a big thing. And the, the far right is really big on mistrust of medical professionals. Yeah, 100%. So it makes sense. Like, you, that's literally what Russia is trying to do. It's trying to make you not trust uh, your own government. Yeah. Which she should barely trust the government, to be fair. Yeah. But like to but not. But because you feel that way, not yeah. because. <laughs> but for ridiculous fucking reasons, not yeah. rational fucking reasons. Yeah. And then it's trying to make people not trust doctors or science. Like, mm -hmm. pretty fucking weird, man. Yeah. Uh, pretty interesting. So, yeah, just take a real hard, long look in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And wonder why that is. I just feel so vindicated because I've hated Tim Pool for so fucking long. Yeah, and now, that's what you've just been saying. You've just I been worked, screaming. Yeah, years ago, I worked with a guy who fucking loved Tim Pool, and I remember asking him, like, what do you like about him? He's oh. like, he says, he says the truth. I'm like, turns out he doesn't say the truth. Turns out he, he gets says, paid to say what Russia tells him to say. Whoopsie. Hmm. Whoopsie. Vindication! That, that sound is what he's been doing all week. Just yeah, running just around the house. Screaming vindication over and over again. From and, and a bunch of other... Far right people I've never really heard of. I try not to think about these motherfuckers too often. Yeah, it was like a ton of people. Are they like, is there any kind of, are they going to get any charges pressed against them or are they considered well, victims I know in this that, crime? I know that, um, sorry, I know that YouTube has pulled all of the, basically all of the content creators off who were Dang. associated with this yeah. uh, Department of Justice. Um, yeah, lawsuit essentially. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, man, the DOJ got involved because, like, that is that is a, you know that's a really big deal. Yeah, that Russia is funding news networks over here. Like, it's like one thing, like RT News, like Russia Today or whatever. Like, it's in the fucking name. You know, it's going to be skewed, be anti-Ukrainian, and you know it's going to be yeah. pro-Russia. Putin, great. Great guy. There's no gay people here. Good time. All Everyone's happy good, and well-fed. But, like, that's why, you know, it was just so weird that these people were all, that, that you would just hear from 
people on the right how much they love Putin and how dope he is. And I'm like, where are they fucking hearing this shit from? Yeah. That dude's a, a dictator, an evil piece of shit. Mm -hmm. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden they were like, no, nah, man, he's the best. And that's where you hear it from, guys. Yep. Funded enemy of America propaganda. That's so wild. Oh, vindication. <laughs> there he goes again. I fucking hate that song. There he goes bitch. again. There he goes again. There he goes again. All right. Um, <laughs> is there anything else? Oh, let's get to. Uh, we can get to some of these other things later. Do you want to? You want to touch on any of this? Uh, no, we could get to. We could get to this stuff later for sure. Okay. Well, let's get to the voicemail because I wanted to listen to. It. We got a few voicemails. Hell yeah. Uh, here's my favorite one. Let me play this one real quick before I tell you the number. You are weak and gay. No. <laughs> You are weak and gay. <laughs> so Travis and I were testing okay. the voicemails. And at the time, there was a Republican in, com uh, the, in some primaries. Valentina uh, Gomez? Gomez. Valentina Gomez. From, from Colombia. And her whole thing was, do not be weak and gay. Yeah, she was running, I believe, in the Missouri... Uh, to be a Missouri senator, she lost in the Republican primary. Yeah. But she, again, was one of these Russian-funded, far-right, yeah. insane people. And we just, and and that became Travis and I tick for each other be, every day. And, yeah, no, she literally, her slogan was, vote for me, don't be weak and gay. Like you think, <laughs> like you think it's an over-exaggeration. That That's were literally just her words. Literally what she would say. And me and Katie... For months, have been calling each other weak and gay. Just cackling. We can't stop. It's so fucking funny. It's wild to me. Let's oh, see. it's so funny. All right. By the way, if you guys want to call our voicemail, uh, give us some love. You know what I mean? Tell us we suck. Do that. Uh, be mad at our political opinions. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yes. I'm valid. sure that might happen. Uh, call the uh, number 702 900 1813, baby. That's 702. 1813. Ooh, right the 13th caller will get a pair of these nuts. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Guitar riff. No, that's, that's, what's, that's been your tick lately. Yeah. I'll say something you do. Up, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> It's really funny. Listen, I want to support you, but I don't know what to say. It's okay. Nah, 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 nah. Guitar riff. It. Yeah, dude. Dude, it works. It. It's it fantastic. Works. Uh, let's see. Uh, but then again, 702-900-1813. This is my second time calling to tell you <laughs> how weak and gay you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, this is when we were setting up the voicemail a long time ago. <laughs> Katie called in. <sighs> I love it. <laughs> It's sorry. Oh, Again, Google Valentina Gomez. Are. Please Google Valentina yeah, Gomez. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating. She just jogs. And by the way, she looks like she she's in her 40s. She jogs in a bulletproof she's, vest. Yeah. She looks like she's in her 40s. She's 25 years old. Yeah. Hate ages, people. Man. Hate, dude, yes. Hate, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see here. Here we got a real voicemail. Next. I believe this is from my brother. Hell yeah. Hey, what up, Burn Bears? What, yeah. up, what up, what up, Brother Bear. Brother Bear! Brother Bear! Brother Bear! Love you guys. Travis and Katie, you guys are killing it, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. That's nice. Um, oh, yeah, I told you you nice. I enjoy watching the show. You guys' reacts are amazing. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. You're very nice to Ryan. Love spending time with you guys. No, we miss I you. I can't wait to see you again. Absolutely. Love you. And uh, thanks for being you. Oh, that's not. Bye. I love you too, Ryan. Love you guys. We miss you. We really yeah. wanted to. We, we wanted we, to see you this long weekend. We live down the road from them, but they live on base. Ryan, my brother is Ryan's uh, active duty in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. They live on base, and it's hard to get on base sometimes. But also, they have three children. Two of them very small. Put everything in their mouth. Yeah. Put so many things in their mouth. And over Labor Day weekend, they were uh, they had let's just say intestinal distress. Yeah. <laughs> And then, you know what, man? I haven't had a stomach virus in probably 15 years, but Ryan, because of the kids and stuff. Yeah. One, like every six months, I feel like they're they they're horrible fighting stomach virus. Well, dude, dude when, we, when we stayed with them, it was literally I got the poops once a month. 
And it's because Dude, we'd be just, running our own business. We were not prepared. Our bodies our, yeah. were not ready for children. Our childless immune systems our could weak, not handle these kids. Our weak city childless. Yeah. We are stronger because of them now. Yes, though. absolutely. We could survive we can, yeah. sickness. It took almost a year of living here. Now we can go over there and we don't get sick. Yeah, but it's a fuck it, but it took a year. Of us, yeah, just <laughs> building, like, getting like, please, stronger. These children. <laughs> yeah. Because they're just little, be I mean, you know, they're little petri dishes, you know what I mean? It's well, good for them. They well, should, you know. What would bother me is when they would be perfectly healthy. And then I'd get home and I'd feel sick. Yeah. And I'd be like, no, that's not fair. That's yeah, not fair. little carrier. All of you can survive this. <laughs> we, we still love all of you, even though you got us sick. Oh, uh, no, they made us so stronger. So many times. Made us stronger. All right, Ryan, we appreciate the call. Oh, let's see. Okay. Oh, is this Sound Surgeon? Hey, oh, hey, y'all. Hey, yeah. This is Sound Surgeon just giving you guys a heads fuck up. Fuck yeah, we're finally what's listening. Up? What's up? What's just up? saw your episode today. I'm going to check it out later. Oh, thanks, Glad buddy. to know that you guys are around. And I hope to see oh, you guys no. doing the whole Fallout Vegas thing again. Oh, yeah. But, uh, we got yeah, to get back to that. I'll talk about that after. This is technically my mother's phone. Oh, I'm in between oh. places right now. So oh, no. If you guys get a shout out or whatever, just let me know. I'll hit you guys up through the chat or fuck whatever. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just wanted to say, hey, I've been missing you guys. I'm glad to see you guys are back with your first podcast. So Thanks, buddy. congrats on that. So yay. yay. All right, guys. Have a good day. Like, Sound Surgeon out. Hell yeah, man. Thanks, Sound Surgeon's dude. a dope name, by the way. Yeah, he's always at our li He was at every single live stream we did with Fallout. Yeah, um, really active in the chat. We really appreciate you, man. Yeah, really cool. Actually, legit cool guy. Yeah, this um, was a minute ago, so I hope you're... Uh, I hope you, uh, you got a spot right now, man. Yeah, and I j just fucking... I wish I had a better excuse than uh, the fucking live streams uh, freak me the fuck out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't... Every time we tried to... We did it for several weeks in a row, and it's just so hard for me to be party good i don't know how else to describe it but to be part of good time for like yeah, know, four man. hours I, I, can say it's streaming is really difficult i don't think people give uh i yeah like really good streamers enough credit yeah especially guys like dude some of these guys like do eight to ten hours every day all day every day dude and i thought like i could do i th thought i had the ability to do like ah, four hours once a week dude yeah so I think we're definitely we're definitely going to stream more, but we're also we're going to do less time probably. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but we'll yeah, hopefully because that means I am weak and gay. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm weak sorry. And gay. Um, uh, yes, I agree with you. Yeah, weak and gay. Weak and gay. No, but uh, yeah. I, by the way, man, we bounced around, dude. Before before we got this place, yeah, we were. Super homeless. Like, oh yeah, we were hell we homeless. All kinds of things. We Shout bounced out around again so many to places. Ryan and Megan for giving us a place to live. Oh yeah, dude. And I did. For, I forgot about that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah dude, we've been. Oh yeah, we've been double times. homeless. Relationship dude, success. We've been like triple, quadruple homeless. Are you kidding me? What are the other two times? We'll talk about it later. No, you can we, remind I, me. No, of I can our remind you. No, we fucking we fled to Virginia, which means we were just on the road for an entire week. Oh yeah, but just that's traveling. Car. I wouldn't count that. It was not. It was traveling to West Virginia, which we technically were living there. Yeah. Then we fled, and then we were in between places there. Oh yeah. And then we that moved felt the, homeless. That yeah. felt homeless in Ohio when we were just, just <laughs> yeah. Floating then to my around. mom's and the grandpa's. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, that felt homeless. <laughs> you're, right, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're where right. we moved fucking five times in like three months. No, yeah. you're right. You're totally right. You're that totally was right. that's what homeless. That's, yeah. that's called homeless light. Yeah. Yeah. And not, to, yeah, not to mention the, like the time we had to sleep in the car for like three days before we finally could get a hotel room. Yeah, that's true. While we were waiting for one our, our studio apartment we lived in for. For some reason, in my brain, unless I'm sleeping on cardboard under the bridge, it doesn't count no. as homelessness. It doesn't count. No. I've not earned homelessness yet. I, no, I don't. Whatever the fuck that means. If you, I just think homelessness means you don't have a fucking home. Then we've done that like so <laughs> a lot of times, many times, yeah, a lot dude. Of times. We've done that so many times. Babe. So we hope, uh, you, we know you're laying on your feet, man. This was a yeah. minute ago. Yeah. This is a while ago. This is almost a month ago. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh no, July! Oh my God, it's been so long since we podcast. Yeah, dude, we had. <laughs> I know it's been a minute, guys. I'm sorry it took us so long, uh, but hey, we hope you enjoyed the episode. Anything else you want to add before we get out of here? No, dude, I'm I'm excited to do this 
every fucking week, dude. I'm excited yeah. to get back into it and so actually yeah. do this right. So this is going to be dropping every Monday, definitely for the rest of the year, at least leading up until Christmas. So Absolutely. We're just going to talk shit. Yeah, and, just uh, hang out, talk shit, get better at... Yeah, and we record these episodes... Kirsten. 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 Uh, we record these episodes on Thursdays, so if you guys want to make the uh, voicemail list, we're going to listen to it at the end of every podcast. Make the voicemail cut. Yep, so you'll hear this on Monday, so you got like four days. Mm-hmm. Call in. Mm-hmm. Uh, say hi. That number again, 702-918-13. Right. Damn you to hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> We love you, you beautiful bears. Right, guys, thanks, thanks for, for listening. With us. We appreciate you. See you next week. Bye. Cool. I have to piss like a race horse. Bye.